Okay, I'm absolutely overjoyed to say that we are joined by a. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think it's too much to call him a legend in genre filmmaking. <laughs> oh, We've God. got Mr. Charles Band with us. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about the legend, but I appreciate it. I'm. Uh, I'm good. I'm fine. Here we are. I'm in Los Angeles. It's about two in the afternoon, and you're what? Ten at night. Ten o'clock at night. Freezing cold mm -hmm. in Manchester. Oh, Although, sorry. strangely, <laughs> we had a blue sky tonight. We're not used to we're, today. Rather, we're not used to that. We okay, we usually good. have a, a milky Wrong. white sort of sky. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> what it. we operate with. Um, just before we dive in, because obviously there's. there's a very timely release coming from you. Before we get there, mm. uh, just to set the record straight, for any of the, our listeners who aren't familiar, and did shame on you, um, Charles, <laughs> Charles has been behind things like Empire Pictures that brought you everything from Parasite through to Reanimator, From Beyond, Empire, and so many more. He's also the man behind the Puppet Master series, which I know you've all heard of. If you go and check the IMDb, he's got a, uh, a credits list as long as your arm. <laughs> you, you've been a busy guy over the years. Now, yeah, no, it's it's hard to stop. You know, once you uh, get rolling, and if you do stop, I think it's over. You know, we have to uh, stay young and and keep keep forward motion. So I don't think uh, anyone, you know. Once I started, no one can sorry? accuse you of stopping. That's that's, that's <laughs> no. for sure. Um, I know. Obviously, I'm I'm of a certain age, and uh, I was a, a very much a, a VHS baby. And okay. I cannot begin to tell you the impact one of your films had on myself and my friends back in the day. We would have been about 12, thereabouts, 13, and it was Parasite. Okay. Parasite was okay. <laughs> the film because it came out of her face, dude. Yes, that's true. Well, let's don't, for people who are much younger, let's not confuse this with uh, the movie that just won the Academy Award here. Oh, no, this was no. the original Parasite with the Demi Moore. Yes, I think it was eighty eighty one. I shot it, and uh, <clears throat> what was interesting about it is it was uh, we were sort of pioneers in three D. This is before three D became, you know, what every big tentpole film for a while was doing. This was a uh, long time ago, and it was to me Moore's first film. And I was lucky to have Stan Winston do uh, the, the makeup effects. Stan, who went on to do Aliens and uh, Terminator and uh, Jurassic Park, uh, you know, I think seven time Academy Award winner, and also a good friend. Stan passed away a few years ago, which is really a, a bummer. But, um, yeah, Parasite. It kind of, we kind of began the 80s with Parasite. Well, I'd say it was a huge film for me, my friends. It was up there with, like, <laughs> you know, the Fulci movies, all of those. That was one of those because, uh, you know, it was just it was just cool. Cool cars, uh, cool everything. Yeah. And, guys, if you aren't familiar and you are of a younger generation and you enjoyed the latest Parasite, do go and watch the proper one. <laughs> Do go, it's far more entertaining, <laughs> I, I promise. Now, and, um, and if you wonder, those of you who are listening, if you wonder when you do watch it, why there are shots with things poking at the camera for no reason at all, well, once again, we shot it in 3D, and, and the fun part of 3D, especially in these early days, was, you know, getting kind of weird things to poke out of the audience. <laughs> so uh, for people who don't know, I, I get that question all the time. Well, how come... The thing, it poked and blood came out of the, the thing. I, I said, well, you you know, it was designed for 3D. But, uh, and it was tricky because they have that big parasite jump out of the audience. If you were in the audience at the time, was was also very impactful. No one ever saw that on VHS. No, no, and of course, uh, I, w I was far too young to see it at any kind of cinema. But <laughs> I think the best thing to do is just tell people that's how we made things in the 80s. We just poked things <laughs> yes. at the camera. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, I've yeah, got to admit, with, with, with the, 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 the back catalogue of your work, I, I, I could gladly talk to you for ages about it, and I hope we get to, because you've been involved in so many massive genre films and you know so many cool things. But um, what we really are here to talk about today is uh, the new release uh, that you've got coming out, which <laughs> is, is very timely, because it is, of course, Corona Zombies. Well, it, this may end my career, but um, yes, it is. It is. My, believe it or not, you know, I number all my movies. So if you watch a film, you'll see at the end, there's like a rubber stamp just so people kind of know the sequence and chronology. So actually, Corona Zombies is film number 333. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, you can look at it as a good number, a nine, a bad number. I have no idea. But 
It is actually my 333rd film. You're halfway and it comes there. out uh, on, <laughs> I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but it comes out on Friday, Friday the 10th, and it's only on our awesome streaming channel, which is Full Moon Features. You just go to fullmoonfeatures.com. You get the app. You can watch it on Apple, on Xbox, on Roku, you know, all the various platforms. And um, we're also going to let people subscribe for the month. Uh, we haven't figured out the math yet, but it'll be a super cheap price to get a whole month worth of hundreds of <laughs> full moon and other movies for like, you know, $2 or something. It'll be very, very, very inexpensive because we want people to come on board. You know, it's the new video store. We can't, you know, we can't ship these movies to Blockbuster and Hollywood and all the thousands of video no. stores that used to be around. Those days are long gone. So, you know, we've put everything into this um, streaming site, which is a um, very cool site and has literally, I think we have like 500 movies. So if you want to binge out and not just watch Corona Zombies, but watch about 500 other movies, uh, a couple bucks, a couple pounds, I'm not sure what the pennies will be, but that's for the weekend. From the 10th to the 12th, we'll be... Um, you know, offering that super low price. You just got to come to fullmoonfeatures.com. I'll make sure we get a link to that there as well. And I'll be signing up this weekend <laughs> anyway. So <laughs> a I'm, couple I'm, yeah. I'm going to have me some of that. I'll be honest with you. Now, um, in this day and age, most moviegoers, they're used to films having long gestation periods, costing huge amounts of money. We only really learned about the coronavirus a couple of <laughs> months ago. Um, right. I, I have <laughs> to ask... Was it a case you already had something in production and you adapted it, or was this completely from the ground up? Here we go. Well, it's uh, the story is probably going to be way better than the movie. Uh, <laughs> the movie is actually the movie is very very fun. I, I promise you. You know, my feeling was as horrible as this is, and it has affected so many people. Um, you know, the, the, it, I think I think a little humor is still helpful when you're sitting at home and you know climbing the walls and, you know, wanting to laugh a bit about people running around trying to find toilet paper. And, you know, so that's the spirit of, of the movie. So don't, don't think you're going to see some serious zombie movie. It's actually quite the opposite, but the, the way this came to me, and then I'll give you a little bit of the secret sauce is literally three weeks ago, Friday, it was one of those middle of the night things, which usually is not what I do. I usually kind of have a process for coming up with ideas since <clears throat> all these movies have been, you know, my ideas, my titles, I usually write, you know, the, the, a short story and then, you know, give it to a, a proper writer who writes screenplays. And then I've directed a whole bunch and I've produced them all. And you know, there's a process that this did not follow at all. Because about three weeks ago, I, I had this idea. I thought it just the title flew in my brain. I thought, oh, Corona Zombies. And at first I thought, oh, that's terrible. And I thought, well, that's actually kind of funny. You know, the notion being, and again, none of this is even explained in the film, but my first thought was, you know, what happens to all these poor people when, you know, they die? Well, you know, they've got to come back and, and they got to be pissed off zombies, you know, because the government fucked them up. Uh, you know, it, it, they could have been saved had there been better, you know, blah, blah, blah. We all know the politics involved. So I thought, well, that's kind of a not a great idea. And then how can I even make it? Because that was literally the day that <clears throat> there was a shutdown. Um, uh, I forget what they call it. Uh, where you supposed to hide indoors? Isolation. Uh, here and here. Yeah, it's, no, but it is another. <laughs> right, isolation. <laughs> it wasn't quite isolation, but it was something along those lines. Um, and I thought, well, I just, there's no way I can even, you know, within a matter of. Even, I mean, we're quick, but it still takes us at least three months to make a movie, and that's moving at lightning speed. Mm -hmm. So then I had the idea. And again, no one knows this, so you're going to hear this for the first time, um, of taking some footage I have from some other movies that I own where they're crazy zombie attacks. And one of them is an old, old, older Italian movie. I won't reveal the name that has some of the best, funniest, bizarro scenes in the world. I thought, well, let me do a sort of a what's up, Tiger Lily, and, and wipe all the soundtrack clean, create a new story, maybe some bookend material, and then just make it very funny and topical. So that was sort of the idea. This was, again, barely three weeks ago. And then I, as, I, as this process sort of evolved, I thought, well, no, that's, that's good. That's funny. But that's, I can't, that can't be the whole movie. I need to go out and, and shoot some footage that people will relate to. So I came up with this idea. And I'm going to blow the whole film of this real ditzy chick who's really uninformed. And she's on the phone with a friend. She just came back from the market. She, she, she turns the news on, doesn't quite grasp how severe it is. 
realizes that's why she couldn't get supplies, why she has no more toilet paper. Anyway, I shot what the equivalent of about a quarter of an hour of edited footage. That is the bookend and interstitial throughout this movie that then combines old zombie movies. Uh, another movie I made called Zombies vs. Strippers. It's kind of a weird, <laughs> very funny minestrone of... Uh, uh, it, it, there's a story. I mean, there, there's a, a beginning, the middle, the end, and I, I don't want to blow too much of it, but w- from an idea, we had this, uh, uh, you know, we wrote it, I shot the material, and then by the end of last week, um, we had the thing edited, and it'll be finished in two days. So from literally concept to the release this Friday, April 10th, it was three and a half weeks. <laughs> that's, you see, I think, again, a lot of uh, younger listeners won't realize that's that's real old school sort of exploitation <laughs> tackle, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's, right, we'll shoot it a bit. We'll get some of this stuff we've got, and yeah, let's just get right. it out there. Let's get it out <laughs> exactly. there. Exactly. The, the but reason- it's actually, it's actually. I, I don't want to put it down like it's terrible. It's actually very funny. We we have some great writers. The, the voices we. I mean, I, I can't reveal who, but we have you know people who work for Disney and Warner's who they're all sitting at home, and I'm friendly with a lot of these people. So we we reached out to some of these amazing voice actors to re-voice these characters with very funny, modern, silly, crazy dialogue. So it actually is, you know, of course, I haven't quite seen it soup to nuts, all finished and polished. The movie won't be finished for two more days. But going through the process piece by piece has been, if nothing else, you know, uh, entertaining. And I think it's actually going to play really, really well because it's just out there ridiculous. I think people are going to have uh, fun watching it. I, it certainly sounds like it. Now, um, I think it'd be wrong. Obviously, we live in an era where people are so desperate to be offended that everything uh, will offend. They they love it. They can't get that. It's, it's the new crack. You yeah, know, it's right. It's the thing. How much backlash mm-hmm. have you already had? You know, um, uh, we've had a, uh, we've had. I would say, I mean, there's a bunch of haters out there. Um, I think the the best email I got or text message or not, it was a tweet. Someone wrote, "You insensitive fuckwit." So you know, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, <laughs> there's no question. There's some haters out there, but you know, I think uh, I'd say maybe a third of the people, the responses we've had have been not good and about two thirds people saying, Oh my God, please let me, I, I need a laugh. This is ridiculous. I haven't left my home in three weeks. So, but I think uh, there's a percentage of the people who think we're nuts and, and are not happy with us making this movie that think that it's, um, it's a straight up horror movie, which it isn't. It, it is an absolute, no question about it. Kind of, you know, comedy that I think handles things in the right way. And I think less people will be offended. Well, of course, uh, the good thing of is. those who are unhappy when they finally see the damn thing. So, <laughs> but you know, listen. I mean, once again, I tell people we're making and here's the key word: exploitation. Yes. <laughs> That's kind of what we do. Oh, trust you know? me. The, and, the and, audience uh, for this will get that. They, they will. There'll be no offended people among the uh, the listeners here. I promise. Yeah, I, I, think, I think. I think. I think you're right because I mean, let's face it. Every zombie movie is horrific. I mean, you know, people coming back from the dead and eating people. It's like, well, wait, wait. What are these regular zombie movies? So, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, so, you know, heartfelt and, and easy. Anyway, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll see what thing. happens. But isn't the best thing, though, that one third will drive sales like crazy? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, it's it's interesting. It's, it really is a new world. Even though streaming is everywhere, it's not like a new deal. I mean, here we are, very small company. My hope, you know, is I've never been driven by, oh, I want to make a bunch of money. I mean, I've had good years and I've had terrible years. And when the direct to video or rental video died all over the world, that was almost the death knell for our company. And mm. many other people went out of business and we hung on. And thank God things are turning around. But when you really think of it, it for us, it really is the new video store for, for literally a couple pounds, whatever the number is. And yes, it, uh, when, when it goes back to its normal pricing, it's still six dollars, you know, so this is not an expensive affair to be able to access by the end of next month, I think 700 movies. And we release three new movies every single week. <laughs> so, you know, we've acquired great movies from Italy, from France. We have, of course, our own movies. We have different collections. We have some sexy movies. It's just a great site for, for a couple of bucks. You know, it's well, just, let's be it's, honest. I think everyone has to ask themselves, do their kids really need Disney plus? <laughs> or, 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 or do they need access to all the Puppet Master movies in one place? 
I, right, and I, some I will very, the answers. very, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's true, but there's so many other movies. I mean, we have you know Lucio Fulci. We have so many, we have so many collections that we have on this channel um, that you, you just there's no way you could get bored. And yeah, Disney's fun too, but you get. You, I mean, I can't watch it. I mean, there's you know there's a few good shows, other movies I've seen, and you know they've got eight trillion subscribers. Yeah, we have, I don't know what we have right now, like 4,000. I mean, we're like babies. We just launched it six months ago. But it's a treasure trove of all sorts of exploitation fare going back from the 70s. And again, we, we have all these new releases. And then we're making our own movies now, you know, new full moon movies. We have essentially the 12th Puppet Master we've been working on for a half a year called Blade. And that's finally going to come out in, uh, in May. And, you know, we, we, we're going to shoot a new subspecies movies for those of you who follow the subspecies series. We're going to shoot in Croatia. And, uh, yeah, so we have very ambitious films of our own, full moon films. But there's a lot of other you know, movies up there. And there's quite a few. Uh, when I say sexy movies, these are, um, you know, dating back to the 70s even. Movies that were well-appointed, that were erotic, but, you know, nothing really hardcore, just erotic films, beautiful locations. You know, real funny premises, you know, bingo, beach babes movies and <laughs> you know, all that fair that that did really well in the 90s. That they're almost impossible to find now for whatever reason. They sort of disappeared when the video stores closed down. So we have a fair share of a lot of, uh, uh, you know, adventurous erotic movies like Femalian and the exotic time machine and the erotic house of wax. I mean, come on. <laughs> what, what more could anyone want, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, I know our time is actually fairly limited today. Um, That's all right. That's okay. But we'll We're get everything good. in about Corona Zombies. We'll get all of that in there because uh, <laughs> everyone should remember it is out this week as we were going to say on the, the 10th. This, this Friday. This Friday. They've not finished it yet. They're going down to the wire to get this to you this we, week. We will literally overnight whatever it takes to get it up on our channel. I won't bore you with the technical stuff. They will get it uh, the morning of the 9th. Yep. And then it takes six, seven hours, and we'll flip a switch that evening. So, so even though we'll be still asleep, it'll be it should be live in the UK and elsewhere by you know the time you guys wake up on the tenth. And again, the promotion we've never done this, but we really want people to have fun and see the show. Mm-hmm. It's not just a couple pounds for the subscription just to see the movie. You can see the movie and see hundreds of other films. So you, for those few bucks, you'll be subscribed for a month. And then hopefully, if you like the channel and like what we're doing, you'll stick around and. And so forth and so and on. And you've kept it underneath the magic sort of eight dollar point, so a lot of people will just not bother cancelling, even if you know, like there's a certain thing with streaming, they rely on people forgetting to cancel. Sure, I know. Um, but I'm I'm guessing that your your audience and the audience for the full moon streaming service, they're gonna be after a lot of that stuff. I know I'm actually I tell, I'm gonna go and sign up tonight. I'll sign up tonight. <laughs> I'll tell everyone else okay. to sign up tonight. And uh, right. I'm going to dig right in. Charles, thank you so much for your time. No, it's a pleasure. Um, Listen, I, I hope everyone looks at this. Listen, there's so many movies up there. If you, you don't like Corona Zombies, watch one of hundreds of movies we've made. It's some terrific films. But, uh, you know, I think people will have a laugh. It's, you know, what's, what's the craziest about this is how it's, it's just slammed the whole planet. It's not, you know, it's not localized. It doesn't know any, you know, barriers, borders, ge- geography. Yep. You know, they're they're just everyone's at home. Most people are just literally at home and hoping they, you know, this thing moves through, which it will. So when when so many people who aren't directly, I mean, it's terrible if you've got the the, the, the disease and God knows, you know, if you're being taken to the hospital. I mean, there there are those people as well. But I don't know what the percentage is. You know, the vast majority of us hopefully stay healthy and we're. Mm. I've been home for three weeks, you know, I mean, like really home in quarantine. So, you know, I'm, I just think I've, I've seen other, I've seen some performers, I've seen some artists, I've, I've seen other people try to have a little fun with this and make fun of how weird we all are when we stay home. So, you know, uh, hopefully well, I, people will enjoy I'm it. I'm glad of it because if I have to see that Imagine video one more time, <laughs> just one more time whoever thought that uh, would make us feel better I'm not entirely that sure that is hilarious not no, entirely that's sure. very funny. Charles thank you so much and I hope we can get you back again for a longer um... no anytime anytime seriously just set it up and I'm I'm happy to come back talk about it one of 333 movies you you name the movie <laughs> i will i will name them yes so okay, okay thanks again it's been an absolute pleasure you got guys it. everyone 
go and sign up for me streaming. Do watch Corona Zombies. <laughs> let us know what you think. If you're outraged, definitely let us know what you think. Yeah, okay. And let me add one thing. If you want to save a few dollars, wait till Friday. That's when it's going to be cheap for the whole weekend. Right here. There you go. You got it from the horses, man. Okay. Uh, Charles, thank you so <laughs> much. So it's been a pleasure. Bye-bye.